Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Faith Maria Isaac and for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to travel affordably or how to plan your trips. So last year, December, my friends and I traveled to the coast. So if you're from Rindu, Namibia, you know where the coast is well what people usually go when they say the coast which is Swakopmund so being the students that we are my friends and I don't have a lot of money <laughs> but we decided to make it happen because everyone else was traveling and we also just wanted to experience how that is I kind of knew that it was never gonna happen and at the beginning the budget was about three thousand dollars because it is pretty expensive to travel um but yeah and then i knew i knew it in the back of my mind like oh, please where are my friends gonna get three thousand dollars from where am i gonna get three thousand dollars from but because i really 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 wanted to go and i wanted to do this with my friends we decided and i decided to find other alternative to make it as cheap as possible and build and make a really affordable um budget so that we'll be able to go so this is where this what this video is about is about to come in so tip number one start um planning your trip and budgeting for a tip on saving for your trip um as early as possible like i think we had been planning it for a while like so it had been two years since we've been talking about this um <laughs> this trip that just never seemed to happen so last year i was so determined to make it happen i was like now nah, you know what we're gonna do this okay so like, we'll talk about it and would we'll, like talk about how like which places we would would live in and all that so we'd we'll go online and 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 search for places there on airbnb called airbnb yes it is like hotels and stuff and the hotels would be like oh it's 900 per per night per person um if you're sharing a room or they'll tell us it's 1500 and we're just sitting here like bro <laughs> we literally have like two dollars on our bank account how in the world are you charging us 1500 per day and we have to share like we don't have money we're students okay then we're like okay what's the next best thing and then there are these i don't know what they're called but apparently hostels or something where you can sleep in the coast but um yeah they were they're also pretty expensive well the ones i called were like 600 dollars per night per person and we're like what we don't want to be there for like a day or two days we want to be there for like at least three to four days and then we don't have three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars upwards to spend because now that's just on accommodation if we leave at those places then that would just be for accommodation and then obviously we need food we need transport we need money for activities to do there so we're like nah this trip is definitely not gonna work but <laughs> we were determined like we were really determined on um making this trip happen so so before we went i already organized and planned where we're gonna go what time we're going which places we're gonna visit and all that so that just made life easier for me and also made our budget um work because we know exactly how much we need to spend where and blah 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 and it made our budget easier to draw up so second tip is yeah so if you want to travel affordably i suggest that you get yourself a squad of friends yes i said a squad of friends so get yourself a group of friends um <laughs> get yourself a group of friends that you're going to travel with because that makes um life easier not necessarily easier but it just cuts cuts costs so let's just find a flat that we can a flat that we can that we can rent out because that is way cheaper instead of paying for hotel rooms where you're even sharing and it's already 1500 why don't we find a flat and then we rent out the whole flat and then that's and then we just um 
divide the cost amongst ourselves and that's what that's exactly what we did so we called people and people on the coast and people that we know around and then um my main b found someone that had lived in the coast and was renting was well they weren't leaving there but they were just there for a while and they rented a flat so we're like yes perfect so the flat had two rooms um two rooms a bathroom a kitchen and a in a sitting room and that cost us nine hundred dollars per day so at this point they were like this was nine hundred per day so that was totally perfect because that was like a really a really really affordable how many rooms are there? I have an idea. we decided we we're gonna stay there for three days so yeah so it's three days so nine hundred times three that amount divided by seven so that was like perfect that was perfect student budget <laughs> that was perfect for our student budget yeah and then we did that and then we and then i was like mm, so i've never been on a train before that's true that's 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 now um tip number three go with the train okay the namibian trains these namibian trains <laughs> when i got there i was like what they are the ghetto they aren't cute or whatever it's not luxurious it's not of course first of all we wanted to book like the, um, the VIP apparently there was VIP and whatever uh, like normal section but then there wasn't like much of a difference in the, in the cost so I figured that it's not really VIP maybe we should just call it something else but yeah but then that was sold out so we got the other tickets and the tickets were like 100 and 34 134 dollars yeah so to go to to the coast it was it cost um 134 dollars so that was perfect i think if you take like the normal cars it's like 180 it wasn't really much of a difference but here we're like talking about student budget here so 50 dollars less that's a bonus that's like a whole lot of money <laughs> we were trying to travel while we didn't have money guys so you have to understand um so yeah so um i we decided to travel by train but then the nice thing about these trains is that they were in different compart like this train had compartments so in each compartment i think you can have is it four people or is it six people in there and then we were like six so that was perfect just for for our little squad so we were just in there in our own compartment listening to music and all that stuff it was so much fun so we slept on the train i don't know how many hours it took but and i do know that we slept on the train so that was day one we spent like a bit of day one on the train we slept on it and it was we had the best fun we were listening to music doing dance stuff drinking and eating food oh it was so much fun and then we even like we reached Swako, but we didn't know that we had reached. When you're on the train, you need to be careful because I don't know. No one announces on the train that we're now way, way, we're now way, way. So if you're sleeping, you're gonna freaking miss your stop. They're gonna go somewhere else. You're gonna find yourself in freaking Falfish Bay when you're supposed to stop at Swako Moon. That's what happened to us. Cause we're like when we reached Swako Moon, we're like, I was like, guys, I'm, I think this is it. And everybody was like, no, bro, like, where is the sign? And I was like, I saw a, th a sign that said Sock of Moon wholesale or something. Like, when we're, like, right before we reached that place, but then we weren't sure. Then I was like, so do you think they just called the place Sock of Moon wholesale, but it's not Sock of Moon? Then I'm like, mm, yeah, we're not sure. So we just decided to sit on the train. And then next thing we know, we're in Balfish Bay. I don't know. I think we asked someone. They're like, yeah, we're going to Balfish Bay now. Balfish. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys, so don't come for me. So, yeah. So, then we were, um, then we were, like, in the wrong area. So, you need to keep an eye out for that. I don't know who you ask or who you'll find out from, but we had to go to take, like, cab from the, from Balfish Bay to go back to Swakop Moon because that's where we were, we were gonna stay. So yeah, so that happened. Oh, the sun is going down, so I have to hurry up now. And then um, tip number four, your eating arrangements. So for your eating arrangements, I suggest, since we're living in a flat already, it wasn't like we're living in a hotel, 
and it would be awkward if you like bought your own food and you can't exactly cook in a hotel so another perk of living in in um of living in a flat is that you can cook for yourself there's a stove well our flat had stoves um, it had an oven it had a microwave it had a kettle so we could literally cook and then that's like you um, that was perfect for our student budget because we were honestly didn't have money to be eating out at restaurants and all that stuff so we decided we were going to buy food alcohol <laughs> and drinks and all that stuff so yeah we went to the shop that day after we missed our our whatever place and took taxi so we went to the stores and we bought food for our flat we bought a lot of food not really like a lot lot but we had snacks i think we had snacks because i love eating so obviously we need to have food but then we still ate out like we just didn't eat out every day but we did eat out Tip number five is plan out your activities. I hope I did okay, it. So the sun went down and you know, the light that lighting wasn't working. So yeah. So as I was saying, wanted to go climb the dunes, but um there wasn't enough. Oh, it was too windy, so yeah, the sand would be like everywhere and we didn't want that. So yeah, we went to Dolphin Park, we wanted to go to the camels or whatever, but it was too late. We went clubbing, we went um we went to the beach. How about, oh yeah, we were drunk on the beach. We weren't drunk. These bitches don't want to go home. They don't want to go home. I'm Because don't be drunk on the beach. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> You're under 18, please don't drink. <laughs> but I'm allowed to drink. But drink responsibly. So yeah, we were drinking like just a little bit. Like we just had like a few drinks. And yeah, so hard. That's just a bitch. Do you expect me? And then we went to the beach and it was so much fun. So yeah, those are all the um those are all the tips that I have for traveling on a budget. Each person contributed 1,500 and then everybody else that was balling and had more money could like contribute further into other stuff if you have a lot of money, but yeah. So that is it. So at the end of the day, we spent about $1,500. So those are all my tips for if you wanna travel on a budget. Make it happen, guys. Honestly, do it now like stop waiting for when you start working and when you start what what because that is far leave now live in this moment okay I'm advising everybody to save up those coins and travel do it 1,500 <laughs> we still we actually want to do like something affordable again but we're still deciding on where to go so yeah, that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how, if you have ever traveled with your friends or you guys usually just talk about it and it never happens or if you have any other tips on traveling, just let me know as well because I'm always looking for new ways and affordable ways to travel. So yes, thank you for watching my videos. Please like, subscribe and comment. Bye, see you next time.